Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna to be reviewing the We Are Memory Keepers button machine. Uh, so when I first bought this, I really was thinking um, that this would be something for me and my daughter, more for my daughter. I thought it would be fun for her to draw things and make it turn it into a pin for her and her friends. Um, but she's still a little young, so she's in kindergarten. Um, it was hard for her to push down. She didn't enjoy it quite as much as I thought she would. And then I used a Cricut to design things. And so obviously that part she wasn't into at all. But surprisingly, I am super into it. <laughs> it was really cool. And then I started looking on Pinterest. What are some of the like funny puns or punnies or whatever we call them? Um, I had a really good time with it. So let me show you the ins and outs. First of all, I did, because this machine was pretty much sold out everywhere. Um, I saw it on another Instagrammer um, and she posted it. We ended up getting it at a Cherry on Top Crafts. I'll definitely post the link to that. Um, but it ended up being, let's say, 120. And I was looking on Amazon because I remember, I don't know, 20 some years ago, I bought one for my little cousin. I know, I'm dating myself. But, um, and she loved it. So I thought I was just going to go on Amazon, get something similar. But here's the difference. This one comes with three sizes. So you have a small, medium, and large. And I can get you the size pins. Oh, actually, it's right here. And they end up making, um, oh shoot, no, I can't get you the pins because it's in centimeters. And I know we don't think in centimeters, but I have it written down. Um, your small pin is about 1.4 inches. Your medium pin is just slightly under two inches. And then your large pin is two and three quarters inches. So this is the large, so you can see how big it is. Um, so that's the difference is that the ones on Amazon, you have to choose a size and they're more expensive. So I'm assuming that they're just sturdier and they, they might make better pins, like, you know, stronger ones. These felt pretty good. Like I would feel comfortable putting it on my daughter's denim jacket, her backpack, whatever. I think they'll last. Maybe they won't last quite as long, but you know, we can remake new ones. Um, but the ones on Amazon, like I said, you have to choose a size and they were a little bit more expensive. So I love the fact that this one comes with all three sizes. Um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna keep in this view for a little bit and then I will switch over so you can see a little bit more. So here are the different sizes. Okay, so they come with a top and a bottom. And I will say that the instructions, while there's not a lot of it and there there is an illustration to go with it, it was a little confusing. And my husband was a total fail on this one. He did a Hello Kitty one. My daughter requested a Hello Kitty one. It was cardstock paper that had a lot of Hello Kitties on there and not one Hello Kitty made it onto this thing. <laughs> and then he couldn't even make it, like it just didn't stick. So there is a trick to that. All right, so each one, like I said, comes with a top and a bottom. Um, the top is called the top, the bottom is base, okay? And how it works is you line up, there are little notches on here, you line up A, A first. A, what A does is A gets the paper onto the top of the pin. So it, it attaches, and then just think of it as like, uh, let me see, so this is the top. So for A, when A lines up both perfectly, you're gonna put your paper and your pin here. The, and then A pushes down, grabs both items, and now the top and the paper is up here. You're gonna swivel out, put in your B, like turn it to B, put in the bottom of the pin, and then you put it back, and when you push it together, now the bottom of the pin's gonna stick to the top of the pin. Sounds easy, right? Okay, so I'm gonna flip to the other view, I think. Let, let's try this for now, and then I'll flip it over. So let's put in our top. When you put in your top, there is a little arrow right here. That arrow, when you put it in, put it in where B is. So there's a little notch for B, and you're just gonna put it straight up, and it's there's a magnet, so it sticks sticks pretty easily, okay? But you wanna put it in B because you wanna be able to switch between A and B. If you don't put it in B, you can't switch it back and forth. <laughs> All right, so your bottom one, your bottom one, I think you could just put it in anything, yeah. It just swivels, 
So you can pretty much, I think you can put it in any one of them. But again, you wanna make sure that there's a notch here that you can switch from A to B, okay? All right, so first things up, first, first whatever. <laughs> Let's line up our notch to A and our notch down here to A, okay? So what you need to put in, and I'm running out of pins, so I'm gonna need to make a reorder for pins. The other thing that I noticed is that um, it says you can do with or without the mylar. So the mylar sheet is the shiny cover on top. I would say always with mylar, right? Because just imagine if you're wearing a pin of just cardstock and you, I don't know, this is for my five-year-old. She's gonna dribble. <laughs> She's gonna spill stuff. She talks to her friend. Her friend is like, I don't know, gum flying out of her mouth, whatever. I feel like it needs the mylar always, but that's up to you. What I did find though, is because I make those cake topper shakers, um, I use the Avery uh, sheet protectors and they're super cheap on my Amazon shop. So you can go to amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. And that's under cake topper materials. I will make one for button making, I think. Um, but if you use those Avery sheets, they're super, super cheap. So I don't even use acetate paper. I'm using sheet protector and I think it will work well for this. I haven't used it yet, but it felt the same. So I'm just throwing it out there. Okay, so first things first, you wanna put down your, the top pin, ooh, excuse me, the top pin. And you know it's the top pin because it doesn't have the, the actual pin, it's just the top, okay? So you put it with the top up, okay? Then you're gonna put in your paper. When you put in your paper, you want this base to be sticking out like this. So the word button, the words button press, have it face you. So it's right here. You're gonna swivel this out. There are two swivel marks right here, okay? So if there is a top and bottom to your thing, what you wanna do is you wanna line it up so that it's facing you. The two middle buttons are your middle uh, visual guide. So you just wanna make sure that this is facing up, okay? Then you put your mylar sheet on. So, and every this thing comes with 10 of each size. So I'm running a little low. Okay, so you're gonna put your mylar on top, okay? And just make sure that everything is lined up the way you want to. You're gonna push it back in and you'll feel a little um, like ditch. <laughs> you'll know when it's in. Also at this point, they're lined top and bottom and you'll see the A's are lined up with each other. All right, so you're gonna push it all the way down. It has to go all the way down. You're gonna hear that and know that you can't go any further. You're gonna lift it up, we're gonna swivel this out, and you'll see that there's nothing in here because the top picked up the mylar, the paper, and the pin. So now what we have to do is put in the bottom of the pin. The bottom of the pin, the back of it, that goes face down, okay? Oops, and switch over to B and switch over to B. So now you're gonna put in the pin, the part where you can actually open the pin, that's gonna face down, okay? So face it down and you're gonna line it up again to the two notches, okay? So this time it's facing at an angle a little bit more. So you wanna line that up, push it back in and push it down really good. So I've had a success rate of 80%. I've, so I've messed up on some buttons. All right, let's push this out. Oh, yes. Oh, no. It's the mylar didn't go all the way down. See, that's what I'm talking about. But overall, it's in. So I've had this happen before. What I did was I took my glue gun and I just ran it right here and pushed it down. Um, and I have like, I bought one of my, the glue gun that I recommended on my Amazon shop, it's the big one for the off the mat characters. Um, it has a little finger protector. So I use that and I put glue and then it was good. That's pretty much it. So let me show you, I'm gonna flip the view. Okay, so you can see here, you could just stick it in. There's a notch right here. There's a notch up here. Remember when you're putting it in, line up this notch with the B. And that way when you push it in, sorry, it's weird at this angle, when you push it in, which, hold on, 
Why can't I get it in? Okay, so you put it in. The B lines up to this. That way you can switch between A and B. Between A and B. That's B. And I just pulled it out. So you can feel it's just, it's magnets. So it's easy to take on and off, okay? So down, switch over to A. That's So you want to start out with A and then B. Um, okay, so you have the different sizes. You also have the die cuts to make, um, like if you had it printed out, you could just use this. But I like using the design space um, print and cut feature. So you can see all the ones that I did. Here's the mini. Here's mine, salty as fuck. I love that one. And this one, I'll just talk about this one a little bit. This princess saves herself. So the first one that I did, the word princess was in glitter iron on vinyl. So you know I love iron on onto paper because it gives you a different, you know, like texture, look, it's easy to weed. Um, so I did it in glitter vi vinyl, glitter iron on vinyl. Um, but the pin didn't work out, so I just did print and cut. But just know that you have that option and it just made for like a fancier pin. So I really, really liked it. Um, and that is it. So I hope you like this. I will make sure that you guys have the links to buy it. Um, I'm not associated with that at all. So that link is just so that you can get it. I really do like it. I had a lot of fun making these and I've been sort of, you know, just on Pinterest saving pins. <laughs> Let me switch over the view so I can talk to you. Um, so I've been saving a lot of pins. I've seen some really cute ones. And then I think also for my daughter though, like for our next birthday when we actually can have people over and this, this could, um, could be for a wide range of kids. I would cut out the paper like this and give them markers and they could draw or stickers or whatever and then make them their personalized pins um so i think that's super cute or you could do one with their names on it beforehand and then put that as a party bag and this is you saw how quick it was to knock them out um i would say though have some extras on hand because um it's it's not foolproof <laughs> i need to practice more i mean these are all the pins that i've done um, so it, it, you know, it's, it's tricky, but I like if you, when you go to reorder your pins, I do like the bigger sizes. So the small ones I feel are too small. Um, and that's it. So post your comments, let me know what you think and I will see you next time. All right. And let's see if we can turn this off. All right. Bye.